Hey guys, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Just think about it for a minute. A podcast. Your voice being heard all around the world. Well, let me explain something to you just for a second. When I was trying to get my podcast off the ground, I had so many questions. I mean, on questions, on top of questions, on top of questions, such as how do I record an episode? How do I get my show into all the apps people like to listen to? And another question was, well, how can I make money from my podcast? I mean, that was some of the questions. And I mean, the answer was so simple, very simple. And so right there in front of me, Anchor. And I was like, that's right. Hey, guys, Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, guys, it's 100% free. (laughs) Isn't that ridiculously insane and easy to use? And when I say easy to use, so easy to use. And when Anchor, oh, my gosh, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise your podcast. That means you get paid to podcast. That's right. You get paid to podcast. That's what I'm doing right now. (laughs) Yeah, let me tell you. Anchor is so simple. And I found it. And so have you. So if you're always wanting to start a podcast and make money doing it, go to anchor.fm forward slash start that's anchor.fm forward slash start join me and a diverse community of podcasters already using anchor that's anchor.fm forward slash start i can't wait to hear your podcast good afternoon good afternoon ladies and gents how you all doing on this fabulous fabulous throwback thursday as they call it did you put your throwback picture up on social media i used to do that but i can't find no throwback pictures of myself i have to ask my sister to like send me some but welcome to today's show welcome to holistic talk i'm your podcast host sharita berry and i want to say welcome 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 on today remember this podcast is for educational purposes only not intended to treat cure diagnose or prevent sicknesses, illnesses, or disease, or mental health issues. If you're making any lifestyle changes to your health and wellness routine for yourself or your family, please consult with your medical doctor first. And today we're going to talk about my opinion about genetic testing. Yes, my opinion on genetic testing. And if I would be given the opportunity, would I choose genetic testing on myself? Why or why not? This is my opinion. Hmm. I've heard a lot of conversations taking place in the world of medicine when it comes to genetic testing. Most genetic testing that's done are geared towards finding a common ground for certain illnesses, deformation, deform, deform, deformities, and diseases that are very rare, and to tackle preventative methods as well. Hmm. Most genetic testing is done to find um, ancestral backgrounds, lifestyle, and more. Smitch, 2016. Remember, anytime you hear me give a person's name and a date or a month or year or a month and day and year, that's because I am included in text citation because I always give references at the end of my podcast in the description. Woohoo! So, genetic testing is beneficial in some cases when it comes to helping find any cure or treatment. But then there, there is gene splicing and genetic cloning. That's when I feel scientists have crossed the line meddling in things of the unknown. Yes, I've heard about gene splicing and cloning and all that type of kind of stuff floating around in the scientific community. I don't know how true it is, but... That's when you cross the line and and stepping into the unknown and where you basically trying to be God and play God and you cannot do that. The only reason why I would get genetic testing done on myself is to check my DNA 
for any genetic makeup or markers to see if anything um, that's abnormal that wasn't caught by the doctors when I was younger that I can see if it has been passed on to my children or grandchildren. That's the only reason why I would get genetic testing done. I'm just saying that's just me. Then again, I have this fear that the test may go wrong, such as misread, wrong name, placed on the label, or a number of things, tampering, meddling, who who knows? I don't know, because I don't know. Those who are against it are in fear of that there's some secret government taking people's DNA and is using it to clone them. It's kind of funny to me. <laughs> but it's kind, it is kind of funny, but we don't know. Who knows? Now, you can do a genetic testing or get genetic testing on yourself just like you can do your on your own blood work. There are various diagnostic centers and companies that provide this service to the public. It's called Direct-to-Consumer, Roberts and Arnstrom, 2013. Most people do these types of testing at home because they are either trying to find where their family originated from or something else. Besides, the brain being the most wily organ in our body that will forever be studied, genetic testing is right underneath it as the second in study, the studying the genetics makeup of man. Wow. So that's my take on what I think about genetic testing. Now, your take on it may be something different, but that's my take on it. And why would I get genetic testing done? Now, so many people get various genetic tests done for many reasons. One of the norm is to find out where their family originated from, origin, the roots and different things like that. You know, Ancestries.com and various places like that. So, I thank you for tuning in today's podcast. I'm your podcast host of Holistic Talk, Sharita Barry. Remember, this podcast is for educational purposes only. Not intended to treat, cure, diagnose, or prevent sicknesses, illnesses, or disease, or mental health issues. If you're making any lifestyle changes to your health and wellness routine for yourself or your family, please consult with your medical doctor first. Peace, deuces, and namaste.